Hi, friends. Amy Seifert here, speaker and author of Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse is Proverbs 1, 7 that says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. We all want to live the good life. We want to be good at relationships and finances and marriage and adulting, right? And today's verse points right at the very seed of knowledge and wisdom. It's the fear of the Lord. And I love the way the Bible Project describes fear as this healthy respect for God and his ways that are good and right. It's saying that he is God and I am not. He gets to decide what is good? I don't. And the Proverbs as a whole, they, they contrast wisdom and foolishness. Wisdom is personified as this woman, which I love. And she just she's dropping knowledge and she's saying, hey, this is the way to live well. But the Proverbs also describe fools. Now, we often think of fools as maybe they're like wearing jester hats and they're juggling. But in the Bible, a fool is destructive. And Jesus says anyone who hears his words and does not put them into practice is like a fool who builds his house on sand, which is pretty destructive. So today, how do we practice fearing the Lord and gaining wisdom? Well, you could choose one of three Proverbs and practice them today. The first one, Proverbs 1.5 says, a wise man will hear and increase in learning. What if you talked less and listened more today? Or you could practice Proverbs 14, 15 that says the wise man considers his steps. What if you don't make rash decisions today, but you pray about every choice? Or you could try Proverbs 11, 2 that says with the humble comes wisdom. Practice thinking of yourself less and considering others more, especially the most vulnerable. If you listen to Lady Wisdom, she will build you a rock solid house.